Sir, Hinduism is a worshipping of nature and the way they live. But we feel that such thing is not uh, practiced in Islam. The embodiment of Shiva is nothing but procreation. Most of the kasa, kayas is due to non-worshipping of nature. What are all your views? Uh, that's not clear, please. Could you repeat? What is the exact point you're trying to get at? That is, Hinduism, in Hinduism we um, worship the nature, that is, say, river or uh, tree or what are things which uh, they give us food or what they give us so many things, water or what are things. But uh, such thing is not practiced in other uh, um, uh, religion. And even what we worship is nothing but the embodiment of nature. Say Shiva, that is the procreation of nature. So is the, what are all your views on this? Well, in Islam, we worship the creator the one who is the provider. I mean, the concept of honoring um, one who does good for you, one who provides for you, etc., is a natural uh, emotion, a natural feeling that people have. You honor your parents, you feel good towards your parents, etc., because they have looked after you, taken care of you. <coughs> Similarly, you may have a cow which gives you milk, so you, res you respect that animal. You have a, a you know, sheep which provides you with wool, so you make your clothing, you respect that animal also. You know? So uh, where you get benefit, you have a certain respect and a love for those things. That's natural. However, worship is something else. Worship involves calling on a being to do for you what you are incapable of doing for yourself. Submitting your will to that being. And that belongs only to God. Because the cow, the sheep, the trees, the nature, the rivers, etc., they cannot respond to us. They provide for us because God has put something in them that make them providers for us. It is not by their choice. A cow doesn't stop to think, shall I give humans milk or not? And then they decide to give milk to humans like a nice cow. No, the cow has no choice about it. Similarly with the sheep and its wool, the river and the fish, the trees and the fruit, this is not by choice. So God, as it states in the Quran, has submitted the world for us. So whatever benefit we take from the world around us, that is ultimately from God. God has submitted the creatures, the, the world, to us. So therefore, the one we call on, the one we seek help from, the one we seek guidance, we seek protection, that is the creator of all these things. That is God. So that is the Muslim view. To worship God's creation, this is called shirk. This is worshiping, turning the creation into God. Whether it is a man, men, or animals, this is worshiping.